You got it. I hear if you go up and down the stairs like that, your butt gets bigger. Yeah, that's what I want. I want my butt to be nice and round and plump and beautiful. One more time, come on. Uh, I'm starting right. to feel my butt burn. If people don't know me, they don't know how to take me. They look at me as overwhelming. Feel it, feel that burn. I post things on social media like dance videos. You see that girl, you see that girl. She made me stop and stay me stop. Yeah. My mothers don't compare. I want the world to see what I like, and I'm not going to hide anything. I'm going to work out and make sure I have that you nice body. You look good. Thanks. I feel good. Yeah, you lost a ton of weight. How much have you lost so far? Mm. Like. 92 pounds. Oh my God. And it feels amazing. I've struggled with my weight my whole life. After my divorce, I was about 16 sizes bigger than I am now. Honestly, it was probably the worst time of my life. And that's when I actually started doing something about it. It's so nice to like wear smaller clothes, like feel better, feel sexier out in public. Yeah, I bet it does. To like just be able to like hold you. I haven't had sex since August of 2013. I'm gonna rip my clothes off. As soon as I can. <sighs> You're not giving him any money, are you? Well, it's Antiba. I've given him, I mean, yeah, I have. I've given him a bunch of money because I know he needs it. The last nine months, I've sent Telsey a couple of thousand dollars. Telsey goes to commissary with it, and he spends the money on emails, and he spends the money on the phone so we can talk. It's definitely worth it. Are you going to financially support him? Because when you were married, you did this, and you lost a lot of money. I just don't want that to happen to you again. And you know, it's a risk you got to take for love. Telsey makes me feel really special. He you know, gives me compliments, he calls me beautiful, calls me baby, tells me he loves me. Telsey gives me the motivation to take care of myself. He's sort of like my personal trainer that one day I'll get to have sex with, really. <laughs> I hope he appreciates this and appreciates you. When you meet Telsey, you'll see. Whatever it costs for him and I to be together, like I'm willing to do that, I'm willing to dish it out. I'm not really comfortable with Santiba talking to a prisoner. I'm really skeptical. I know in prison they're doing whatever they can to hustle and survive. Santiba's not used to that. Yeah. I, I hope you're happy. I hope he is a decent guy. I'm hoping Telsey likes these pictures because, you know, I'm spending quite a bit. You must really like him to take most of your clothes off. <laughs> Hello. Hi. 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 Oh I'm Adam. Hi, Adam. It's nice to meet you. Very nice to meet you. This is beautiful. Oh, thank you. I've actually never done anything like this for anybody in my life, but Telsey makes me feel like I'm a beautiful girl. It's okay. Excellent. All right. How are you feeling? <laughs> I'm feeling good. Oh, good. You look good. So what made you want to uh, experience a boudoir shoot? I dating him in me. Okay. He's in a Florida prison, and these pictures are actually for him. When I was bigger, I felt like I was invisible until somebody wanted to say something mean. Adam, she is ready for you. Excellent. Telsey makes me feel sexy. In his emails, the way he talks to me, Telsey definitely does help me stay confident. What you're going to want to do is take your hands and hold kind of the edge of the seat. Oh, boy. I don't know if this is going to be good because no? Telsey is in a federal prison, so they don't allow pictures of, like, my vagina or my nipples or my butt crack. But I'm not really, I'm not sure if this is... I don't think we're going to capture any of um, those things. So okay. we're going to capture beautiful photos, and I don't want them to come back. So, okay. all right? Every time I send Telsey a sexy photo, like, I have to mentally prepare because I know the male people are going to open it and then the CO is going to open it and then the supervisor is going to open it and then I'll finally get to him after, like, 15 channels. Awesome. You like it. I love it. What if he's, like, giving these photos to his friends for, like, noodles? What I'd like you to do is just sit back and relax. Kind of bring your robe off your shoulders just a little bit. Drop it down. Yep, perfect. Pick him up. Sandy, oh, your phone's on ringing. One second. 
Um, maybe Chelsea. Yes. This call is from Chelsea, an inmate at a federal prison. Hey, Ben, what's up? Hey, what's going on? My update looks like it's set. I have to go to the halfway house in like three or four weeks. No way. Are you kidding me? Oh my God. Tell me how excited you are to see me. Well, you know, I'm super excited to see you. Like, I'm so, I'm gonna have to start packing now. Maybe you should wait until I, you know, out of the halfway house. That way we know, we know exactly where I'm gonna be and how long it's gonna take, all that stuff. Didn't we, we had plans. Like, I was gonna come pick you up. Everything's gonna be okay. So just calm down. We'll figure it out when the time comes. But if I bring you to Georgia from prison, what's the problem? I mean, you know, yeah, you're at a halfway house, but why can't I still be in Georgia? I'm going to see you just as bad as you want to see me. Don't, don't be mad. Everything's going to be okay. All, all the things we talk about. I love you. I'll talk to you tomorrow. I mean, okay, I guess. <sighs> I mean, I know that when he goes into the halfway house, I probably won't even be able to see him. I would literally take a few hours with Telsey than not being able to see him at all. Obviously, he's just been in prison so long that he's just worried. I mean, I don't think he means this. I'm still gonna go to Florida. I'm gonna be there when he gets out, and there's no doubt about it. Okay. Good, you got this. One, two, three. <laughs> 